Reba here, welcome back to Gooseberry Homestead. So I told you guys last night I was gonna go ahead and do a video today of the rose bushes and the black raspberry plant that I picked up at Walmart. I rescued them out of the clearance section. They were looking pretty, um, pretty bad. Um, but with a little bit of TLC, they'll come right back um, because they weren't too far gone yet. So, show you what we got going on here. So, right over here we have a Canyon Road. Um, it's a red variety. And if you look up the Canyon Road um, flowers, they'll have certain flowers in the category. And um, I don't know how to pronounce that kind of rose. Um, Floribunda rose, I guess. I could be saying it incorrectly, but it has like a brick red rose. And I was looking up on the fragrance and that sort of thing, and it says it's like a light fragrance rose scent. So it's probably not going to be a very big smeller for um, that rose scent because I'm noticing my sister and I, we were going through Lowe's and Home Depot and Walmart the other day, and we were smelling all the roses. And for the most part, the majority of the roses don't have smells anymore. Like, I don't know what's going on. I know my grandmother's rose garden, she always had like very um, abundant rose smelling roses. And so that's what I was used to growing up and having all these roses that just look pretty, but don't have a scent to them just kind of seem a little pointless to me but they're still beautiful I have one out front that's blooming right now and I'll show you guys that in another video but it's in full bloom right now but that one doesn't have a rose smell to it either so um, I'm sure there's some beneficial um, issues for those kind of roses anyways probably though they maybe they'll make the rose hips or something like that that you can use but um, this one will have like a brick red um, uh, the flower on it and for the most part I try to keep as much as I could on the plant and um, so this one right here had one bud at the end that looked like it might still open and this part wasn't damaged right here a lot of them were bent over so I had to just cut them off all of the f for the majority of the leaves were all um, like just crusty and dead so I had to remove all of them. There was like just a couple that were still really green and pliable and I just tipped off the end. Um, we have a couple more buds over on this side that looked like they were saveable. Um, like some of this, that, that one, that part was not saveable. Um, I'll probably come back and trim this little bit off here. It's nothing, no use for that. This one looked like it might develop, but I don't know. I might cut it off. We'll just see, we'll wait. It's really, really tiny. And then over here, these ones are looking pretty sad to me too now that I'm looking at them a little bit more out here in the sunlight. Um, so we'll just watch. Um, some of them, they, they may, with a little bit of water, they may bounce back. So that's why I kind of left them. But otherwise, I'll come in and I'll cut out these, these, and these. This one looks like it'll do good. Um, so that's how this one is looking. And so this one here I looked up. Now this one I paid... I paid $3.96 for this one. Now, if I don't care for the scent, I'll probably end up reselling this rose bush in the future. And um, we'll just see how well I like. But I have a feeling I'm probably going to be selling this one. Um, but I paid $3.96 for it, which means I'll probably um, double that price and, um, and sell it um, for a little bit higher price than $3.96 since I've taken the time to nurse it back to health. So... That's what I'm thinking I'm gonna end up doing with this rose. This rose has a very, very beautiful fragrant scent. This one um, is called Adobe Sunrise, and um, it is in the orange rose category. It does have some salmon color pink to the edges of the rose. And then when you get into the center of the rose, um, the blossoms, if you look down here on the ground, you can see that it has um, yellow so if I grab one it has like the yellow on the inside of the the petals and then it um, goes to the orange and then the salmon color the light pink on the very ends of the the rose um, petals 
absolutely a beautiful 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 rose bush excellent smell i would love to probably keep this one um this one i mean i i love roses haven't really had very many rose bushes of my very own so i mean i am looking forward to them it looks a lot lighter on the viewfinder here it looks more yellow right here um but in person it looks more of a an a light orange pinky orange color i love it i'm more of a sucker for like the yellows and um the pinks and purple roses and i love the red ones too let's just face it i like all the colors but this one has a lot of really interesting um variation to the petals which i absolutely just love so this one's really great now i cleaned up the um this black raspberry as well it does have a few raspberries that are developing on it we'll watch the other ones i left them on here just because and i see another another limb i need to take off because the, the ends are all like crispy i was removing all of the dead or dying parts of the um the leaves and so i got it all cleaned up it looks really really good now and then we've got just a few <clears throat> raspberries that have formed already and i didn't notice that when i was in the store these ones look a little bit crispy they may not form completely there's just a little bit of formation on the inside so i'll just keep an eye on them and if they don't form i'll just cut them off but we got a new bud here getting ready to open up so it might still produce might still make some more raspberry blossoms so it's looking good like i needed more raspberry plants but it was in the clearance section you guys it was um half price it was 4.94 for this raspberry and um it's a black variety it's called logan apparently this is a new variety of blackberry or it it brings up a, it says blackberry when you scan it on um the walmart thing but it's this is actually um a raspberry so and then it had a blackberry label around the bottom of it so it was kind of like almost a little deceiving but it is thornless so i wanted to point that out the logan um black raspberry is thornless and so there's not one thorn on this and so that's actually kind of cool because i don't like thorns but i grow a lot of things with thorns like my gooseberries my raspberries my blackberries i have a lot of thorny things in my garden but this is um, one I just grabbed up on a whim and um, so it just goes right into the food budget which works out great so um, no skin off you know my teeth with having to pinch the pennies for that one but you know so that's great and I think for these two rose bushes right here I only paid ten dollars for both of them together so say I even it out and I say one's five dollars and the other one's five dollars and then I charge ten dollars for the red run um, when I get ready to sell in the future and I've basically kind of just made my money back you know what I'm saying and then I ended up with almost a free rose bush plus I got them in the clearance section so I even got even a better deal I saved 990 on this one and so that's pretty darn cool so I got a really beautiful rose bush. And then since we have better lighting today, we'll be able to see those herbs too that I got a little bit better. So what I did here is, if you guys noticed in my video last night, I also had a stem from another rose bush and um, it had been broken off and was laying on the ground at Walmart. And so I just picked it up, but it was next to, um, a, it was next to the plant that had the same color of these um, purple colored um, roses and there's still quite a bit of fragrance to just these little dead bits here and it is an amazing rose scent probably a little bit more true of a rose smell that you're looking for and um, it's showing up a little bit more pinky in this viewfinder for me but it's more of um, like a plum rose. I guess there's a little bit of magenta in there too. Just a tiny bit, but it's called, I looked it up because all I did was take a picture of the tag. And then I looked up um, the varieties of flowers for that tag. And this was the only colored rose that matched up with um, the roses that they were offering under that trademark name. And it is called Perfect Plum. 
and um, or plum perfect or something like that anyway so it's a purple rose and it's absolutely gorgeous so I've put this in down here to see if it'll root and um, so yeah we'll watch this and see if we get any roots coming up any more um, plants coming up from the base down here so yeah and I planted this in with my st. John's wort because I figured this is a pot that can share so I did that so that'll work we'll see if we get a rose bush um, developing from the roots of this and if not we'll just wait we'll just wait so I'm gonna put these down here plum perfect that way I can make up a label and stick it in the pot and that way if a rose bush cup comes up from the roots um, from under the ground or whatever from this twig in the ground then we'll know that we've got ourselves a plum perfect rose and it has an excellent scent as well so that will be a welcome addition to my garden and I won't be I'll try not to get any more roses because I really don't need any more <laughs> than what I already have because I've already got so many plants as it is um, but a lot of my planters like these little ones these ones can be dumped out when we get ready to move because these are just um, these ones here in the salad bowls those are literally, um, they're just seasonal crops. So, um, yeah. So, that's how it's looking. And I still do have one empty um, purple pot that I can put a plant into. Um, I still have not found that specific plant that I'm aware of yet. I might have something growing that can go into that pot. Um, so, let's see here. I wanted to show you guys, oh my goodness, look how much this apricot has grown from the trunk this was the that little leader going up and there was another section coming off I cut that off because those bits were dying so I cut that whole section out and so now I've got this one coming up and then I'm leaving this branch here to grow too on this side even though it's not lining up perfectly with this one what I'm planning to do is next year I'm planning to do um that um root ball method on the stem of this branch and I'm going to try to get this to turn into a tree of its own. So um, I'm going to do that next year because I'm leaving this this tree completely alone this year. I'm not doing any kind of pruning on it anymore. It has had enough damage done to it. So that's how this one's looking. And it's already branching out as you can see all along here. New leader new main main part i'm leaving this tree alone i am not going to do any pruning on this main part for at least two years okay you guys i'm not going to touch it at all um other than this one side stem right here other than that this other part i'm i'm leaving it alone completely um and then I'm going to try to get another tree off of the side branch and we'll see how that goes. So I'll take you along for that journey, but I'm going to be experimenting on another apricot tree that I have here in the yard because there's a section at the top that I'm going to take off, but I decided I'm going to try that out. Um, here very shortly, I'm going to be doing that and I'm going to do it with a couple of my other trees just so that I can even out branches and I might as well just test things out to see if they'll root on the trees themselves and um, and then if they don't root then I can just cut it off and it's it's not a big deal if I'm planning to remove a branch anyways I might as well experiment and see if I can get that branch to root while it's connected and alive on the tree all right so let's take a look while we have good lighting at those two variegated um, plants that I got last night or yesterday evening this one is called silver lemon and it's a thyme and if you look really really closely the edges of the thyme have little um, uh, variegation to the to the plant it's absolutely beautiful now if you were to compare that to the thyme I have up here I have another lemon thyme here and it's just all green so this is such a small plant I can't harvest on it this year so I got another one and I'm gonna let these ones get big so I'll have this one on this side the lemon thyme on this side and then I'm gonna have this lemon thyme silver lemon thyme in the center and on this side I have a bunch of German thyme growing and I'm letting this get all big um, and I have a whole bunch of extras that I was wanting to sell but the Lord is telling me to give away things 
So I'm just gonna set up like a garage sale out front and I'm going to put a whole bunch of the herbs that I've been growing and um, extra plants that I have and I'm gonna be offering them for free to whoever comes by and I'll put out a donation bowl or a little can or something and if somebody wants to donate to me they can and if they just need plants and they don't have the mo uh, much money to donate like they need the money for their family or whatnot but they can still get some um, stuff that they can use for food in their home and so the Lord really laid that on my heart and so uh, I I'm gonna do it and um, I just I I'm probably gonna do it before the end of the month um, or right at the beginning of the month because yeah I just need to get that done so um, so that's how everything's looking right here um, and but I was hoping to do it before um, or right after my landlord got new tenants and that, that way um, you know I don't have to worry about my landlord coming along and saying you can't do that you know even though I can have a yard sell I just I, I I don't like people telling me what I can I can't do especially when I'm not doing anything bad but you know some landlords just don't like you having yard sales or free sales or I don't know I just don't want to deal with it so anyway so right here <laughs> let's get off that topic <laughs> um, right here is the other one this is the other variegated one I got it it's a purple sage and so the tips are all this really pretty. The new growth comes on with this really purpley, pink fuchsia edged um, variegation. And then as it matures, it becomes dark green with a light whitish um, off white, almost like an ivory off white color on the edges. So it, I, it's just absolutely beautiful and it has a very strong, strong, um sage smell and it's i actually got it because it's just so beautiful looking you guys and if you look it's got purple stems all the way down so that's pretty darn cool and the other sage i have is a straight up common sage so eventually in my my garden i would love to have a many varieties of sage and many varieties of thyme and um and like oregano's and that sort of thing. I want to have a variety of um, herbs. So I'm really big into herbs. So that's how the, those are those ones. And it's a lot like um, Jess over at Roots and Refuge, how she just really loves um, the um, variegated items. And I'm the same way, I love them. I had a variegated sage plant when I was in Germany. It was a golden sage. But the golden sage they had at the place that I saw this one at, it was also variegated like this. But um, I just think the one that I had in Germany was um, a much prettier golden sage. These ones have much smaller leaves than, um, and so did the golden sage they had there. They were much smaller leaves. Whereas the golden sage, variegated golden sage that I had when I was in Germany had very broad leaves just like the um, common sages do. And so um, I was like, I wanted to get the golden sage too, but these ones were $4.99 a piece. So basically $5 a piece for these herbs. And so um, I decided to just get these two because these were the most interesting to me. And um, plus I love lemon thyme more than I do regular thyme. <laughs> and so um, I could have my whole garden just be regular li like lemon thyme. Um, English thyme is really good too, but um, I'm a big sucker for the lemon thyme. And this one right here is just straight up German thyme. And it's a lot smaller leaf. Um, the English time has a little bit bigger leaf so um, I'm, I'm really excited and these ones are doing really really well and I still don't know exactly what this plant is right here and I thought that this was a time as well but it's it does not look like it but I'm gonna let them grow and see what 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 they end up being now um, I was noticing another thing over here and um, I planted out my tomato plants that were in this little red um, container here. And I didn't know what this plant was that came up. The other one died back, but look what it's got forming here. We've got little, we've got little um, buds getting ready to open up. And you know what this is? 
It looks like a Snapdragon, you guys. Look at that. Let me see if I can get it to focus better. Look at that. It looks like a little Snapdragon. So, I think that's pretty cool. So, I wasn't sure what it was, and now it's getting ready to make little little um, flowers. So, yeah, I think it's I think it's a Snapdragon. So, uh, it's definitely not the same color as I had last year, but um, I didn't, I guess I could have, I guess some of the snapdragons could have fallen over into this one, but everything that grew in this pot grew really, really well. Um, so I don't know what was in the dirt on this one, but all my other plants are like struggling and they're all behind. So, um, well, not all of them, but yeah. So over here, these came out of my elderberry planter. I don't know what this is. This could be um, sweet bed straw or um, or something. I'm not sure. Could be a tree. I don't know what this one is. But this one, I think, is some sort of current. It might be a red current. I'm not sure. But this came out of the base of the um, uh, Crandall current. But the leaf structure is not like the Crandall. So I'll be watching that one. This tomato is not doing very good. I'll probably just pull it. And then I need to get these planted out into the garden somewhere. Um, only because they're not in another cell already. And then these little apple trees came up. These ones are from a Honeycrisp apple. They're not going to be Honeycrisps, most likely. But they might be good. They might be better than a Honeycrisp. You never know, you guys. Till you wait till they make fruit. And I got little strawberry down in there. And another one over here. All the other strawberries died off. So hopefully some of these strawberries will take. These were from China. These um, strawberry seeds came from China. They may not be what I had originally bought. And so um, I'm just going to be keeping an eye on all of that. Because um, I just need to find that variety here in the States. And just buy a mature plant. Let's just be honest there. So yeah, so that's how that's looking. And then I've got some extra um, celery root um, starts here um, for the big giant root balls. And a couple of these I think I'm going to plant out into one of those gray pots because my gray pots, some of them didn't quite take and they died off. But they, I had extras, so I just left them here just in case um, they didn't take off in the pots. So that's how that's looking. And then... Um, to show you in the sunlight, the um, the purple uh, asparagus, or not asparagus, but the purple um, artichoke that I got. So that's how it looks. It looks a lot like the other artichokes that I have growing, but the leaves are a little bit different structure, just a little bit. And so, yeah, that's how it's looking. And it has a little side baby on the side. So I'm going to probably remove off that leaf and I try to keep even the leaves all um, nice and neat inside of my pots. Um, this green globe has a baby on the side too. Um, artichokes like to put out pups a lot and so they'll put out little babies on the sides and they will actually spread wherever you plant them. So yeah, so that's how it's looking you guys and it looks looking really good. So anyways, thanks for watching my video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Um, that's how all of those, um, you know, those plants look how I cleaned them up. Look pretty good. Now they just have to fill out. So, yep. And click that bell button. And as always, you guys, have a wonderful day. And God bless. Bye.